This game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore. Beware, 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 beware! There's zombies and there's liquors. So better be quicker, or else you'll find you're in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to do half lumps and woozles. Resident Evil 2. Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with me, OX2. In the midst of the T-Virus outbreak in Raccoon City, Leon Kennedy succeeded in escaping from the city following his encounter with one of the only other survivors, a woman named Ada, a spy seeking the deadly G-Virus. However... Ada! <laughs> Oh god, we have to relive this. <laughs> Leon was not the sole survivor of the incident. A girl named Claire Redfield was in town on business of her own. She came to uncover the mysterious circumstances of her brother's disappearance. Chris Redfield, a member of the Star's Alpha Team. Only now, her mission has become quite simple. Basic survival within the nightmare that was once Raccoon City. Huh. Okay. I like the sort of, uh, this is a tale based on a true story. These are the horrors that transpired music that's going on. Ooh, nice. So far this looks better than the beginning of Leon's story. I figured it would just be the same intro, pretty much. By the way, we're starting Claire's story today. Oh! That was a... Finally here. Quite the establishing shot. <laughs> As was that. I can see that you really want to show off her assets, Capcom. Best character in the game, right there. Love that guy. The guy's a maniac. <laughs> Hello? Donuts. Oh. Is anyone here? Hello. Don't mind the knife I have on my shoulder. Uh, hello. I mean, seriously, if they had been alive, what would she have done then? Look, I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Just don't come any closer. Are you listening? I couldn't make out what the name was on her jacket. How did I miss those guys? Always run for the green exit sign. Oh, okay. It ties together. We can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. There. Aha. Okay. Now we're back in familiar territory. Okay. And now we're back to the whole not checking the back seat and. What a pacified zombie. And the whole place went Great. insane. The radio's out. To just stay quiet through all this exposition. Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? <laughs> Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. It's something about their faces I don't like either. Not in the in the CGI cutscenes at least. Yeah, I guess the turn could have wake, woken him up. But still. Hey. Did you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Also, he looks like Leon. I just noticed that. Huh. Maybe he's not actually Leon. Maybe he's a spy like Ada was. Hmm. <laughs> you okay? Still in one piece. Run! 
Okay. I don't know. This is a better... A bit of a better... Intro, I think, than Leon's, because it has a... Um, it actually has foreshadowing with the Claire. tanker driver Leon. being bitten. Head to the station. I'll meet you there. I almost wish it had okay. been sort of a montage of the two, or that he had talked about what happened to him, and it, it's, it gives flashback sequences or something. I don't know. It could, it could have been a... You get the whole thing by playing the two scenarios, but I feel like... They could have done everything at once and had it been that much better. Okay, run, Claire. No time for this. I already know that if I stick around, I'm going to die. Also, you seem to move a bit quicker than Leon. That's nice. That is very nice. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was a thing on the ground. It doesn't seem like it is. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay, I wasn't sure if I had to go down that manhole cover or not. <laughs> that would have been terrible. I would have been so screwed. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, are we at the police station already? Uh, I think we are. In fact, I think we're behind that service shed that Leon couldn't get through because all the zombies burst in. That's pretty convenient. So there's a zombie there. Oh, and now that we move away, he's going to come after us. That's pretty convenient as well. So I'm guessing we gotta get into that building. Oh, wait. No. Circle. I know exactly what I want to do first. Not that. I want to go for select. Also, ooh, I just noticed that. Um, we've got a lockpick, also known as a clothespin. <laughs> or whatever it's called. Um, bent. All right, we want, no, no, I want, uh, yeah, that's what I want. I want type C. Keep forgetting to change this when I have the chance. There we go. All right, now we're ready to fight some zombies. Now again, I have the feeling we need to get into that little, oh geez, into this little building. So let's go check this out before we do anything else. Anything, anything. Quick, quick, quick. Yes, I see a shiny. That means we can pick it up. Cabin key. No idea what, where we'd find a cabin. Well, near police station, but maybe it's, maybe it's for something else that we're going to find out about later. I don't think there's anything left for us to do here doesn't look like it, unless there was something I could do with those garage doors, but I doubt it. Okay. We needed it for that. <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> I thought it meant a literal cabin, but... <laughs> I like that she's... I, I like that she's quicker. Again, it, maybe she's not. It feels like she's quicker. Maybe I'm just good at this game now? <laughs> Also, very possible. Uh, just feels like I, or maybe it's just that Leon's story is harder. Yeah, I'm gonna save right away because I was either very, very lucky <laughs> or very, very good, and I have a feeling that it was just very, very lucky. Cause, oof. With, uh, Leon, I never would have been that... I never, never would have done that well. I hear zombies. Where are they coming from? No idea. Nothing special. Doesn't appear to have been used much. Uh, I'm gonna check this box before I go in. Or I'm just gonna go through the door. Still no idea why the zombie sounds suddenly started. Uh, didn't none of them seem to have come in the way, so I'm gonna keep doing this as long as I can. This is this is fantastic. Actually, just running by the zombies instead of killing them. 
it works for once. Doesn't seem like. Plus, I mean, we gotta leave, we gotta leave those zombies so Leon can kill them. Come on. Just didn't seem to really work with Leon. Or not as well. Oh, we'll be rescued finally. No way this could go wrong. Well, except for those zombies, but. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh man, I gotta make the same day, the same, the same joke, and he was only one day from retirement because that is the worst luck that anybody could have ever had. Not only did he get eaten by zombies, but he shot down the plane that was coming to rescue him, or the helicopter. That was ridiculous. Well, at least we know how the helicopter fell in here. Alright, so I know with Leon, we would go bring the valve to extinguish this, but we have no valve. So, I guess we just leave that. Hmm. Claire, you're pretty irresponsible just leaving a fire burning like that. Huh. Oh no. Oh no. The crows. The crows. The crows. Also, for some reason, every time I tramp on something that's not regular ground, I think it's gonna... alert enemies or something, but... Well, I don't think it's actually going to now, because it... didn't alert those crows, but... Ready? Run through and... He's been pecked to death. Yeah, get the stuff on him, because he's... Yeah, I know he's got stuff on him now. Check him again. Nothing. Okay, run. Run, Claire. You're faster than Leon. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Run to this door. You unlocked it. Ha ha. <laughs> Take that, you stupid birds. Not falling for your tricks this time. Your tricks of pecking me in the eyes. And, well, the rest of me murdering me. Ah, I've got mixed herbs. Ha ha ha. What are you going to do now, crows? Alright, so this leads to the precinct proper, I know that. Now that I actually know the how the police station is laid out, and what I can expect from each room, this is going to go a lot quicker, I think, too. Especially because, as I said last episode, this is a really easy game compared to Resident Evil 1. <laughs> That's a really easy game. Start out with a gun, for crying out loud. Okay, we got liquors. Already. And they're on the wall. And we're not going to be able to do much to them, are we? Okay, he's dead. Is there another? Yes, there's another liquor. Come on, Claire, you can not do it. Okay. Thought she could have taken a little more, bit more punishment than that. Honestly, I thought she could. But that's why we saved. Good thing I can just run past everything, too. Kind of makes things much quicker. I mean, how long have I been? I haven't even been recording that long. I feel like we've accomplished. Ac accomplished accomplished. <laughs> I feel like we accomplished much more in this first episode than we did in like three, four episodes with Leon. Because <laughs> I was still getting past that uh that first part with Leon by 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 this time. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. 
again, I don't know what that is. Is that just... Now I can't go back out. I... It's gotta be. Because... Leon can't go through that door. So I'm guessing that's, again, tying in. Oh, that's why uh, Leon can't go through that door. Run around. Oh, come on. Zombie girl. Get out of the way. There you go. Can I skip this cutscene? Maybe? No? Yes! Okay, we can skip that cutscene. We've seen it already. This this same episode, so... There's no reason I'm gonna show it again. <laughs> Not during the same episode. Come on. Go around. So we've done a lot. Already. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Mio X Fu. See, it looks like there's two green herbs there, but there's not. Oh well. Take it easy, guys.